So I'm going to do an archetype reading for the current situation. I don't do tarot cards, they don't resonate with me. The archetype cards were developed by Carolyn Miss and they're based on the archety archetypes as written about by Carl Jung. So I'm going to pick 12 cards and I'm banging them to clear the energy three times. I'm going to shuffle them. So I'm going to do an energetic reading and I'm going to pick 12 cards for the current situation. My first card, Mediator. So I read this as a time of being in between worlds. And it's a time for renewal. It's a time for going within and finding out what's really, really important to us. Second card, the martyr. And it's in the upright position. Some cards operate in the upright, some, if they're chosen like that, then I read them as the reversed position, which is the shadow aspect. But this is in the upright position, so this, this means that it's quite right to sacrifice an aspect of yourself or to give something up. And that's exactly what we've been doing, isn't it? Been learning to go inward and really evaluate what's meaningful for us. The third card is the seeker in the reversed position. Now, I see this as it being frustrating to look at what's new and to understand the situation. You know, we're in a very frustrating time because everybody's feeling very angsty at being locked up and not being able to do our usual things. So it's difficult to find the reasons and find the new things and find what it is what we need to do so I, I read that as the frustration in seeking that was the third of 12 cards the next card is the blank card and it's in the reverse position so this means for me this is the way that I am interpreting it the blank card represents poten potential and because it's reversed, I'm seeing this as blocked potential. We're blocked from developing. But at the same time, as soon as we can figure out what it is that we need to develop and need to create in this new way of life, then we can move out of that. So the, the, the lesson is in learning to unblock where we're blocked. The knight is my next card. Knight as in the chivalrous knight and it's in the upright position. So I'm reading this as loyalty and being chivalrous and doing the right thing and you know following the right path and listening to our inner guidance about knowing what the next move is for, for us. You know, we're, we're all always guided if we listen to our intuition. So this is about chivalry and, you know, staying in the path of righteousness, staying on the path of righteousness. The next card is the gambler. So it's, it's not right to take risks at the moment. That's how I, that's how I read this card. It's right to take measured action. That's the way that's the way that I interpret that card. The reversed gambler. Hermit, very poignant, and it's in the upright position. So now is the time for staying at home, obviously. And and it's apparent in this card that I've chosen. So where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need 12, so I'm going to just choose the one that I feel is right for me. Wow, the destroyer in the reversed position. And I could be right, but 
I think there might be two cards stuck together unless I'm imagining it. No, it's just one. So it was the destroyer in the reverse position. So there's things that are being destroyed the old ways. And right now it's not the right thing to destroy the old ways. I think we need to remember what we value and there are there are some things and some lessons from the past that we need to reevaluate and really understand and find out what's really really important to us maybe it's right to not destroy the things that we thought weren't important and you know find out what we really really value like you know, friendships and things like loyalty and honesty and integrity. That's how I see that. The next card is the networker. So this I see as reaching out to people and it's really important right now because we're all feeling isolated. So however, that is relevant to you as the listener reach out to somebody because we're all in this together and if you know anybody that might be feeling isolated or lonely give them a call or just reach out to them through a message or an email or something like that and start building your networks of when we get that when we get out of this situation that's the way that i'm seeing this is the networker in the upright position Next card, the vampire, something's draining our energy and it's in the reversed position. So I'm seeing as that's the shadow aspect that needs healing. Well, we all know what that is. It's the current situation. I'm not gonna speak of the V word. <clears throat> So chronic complaining or dependency, this is an aspect that we need to be aware of. Let's focus on the positive as much as we can. I believe there's one or two more, I'm gonna count them. Mother in the upright position. So this is to nurture, the nurturing aspect, the female preservative nurturing aspect. So this is, um, about ourselves and the situation. So let's develop our nurturing aspects of ourselves and each other. And what can we come out of this situation with in a nurturing way? How can we use this situation to nurture ourselves and to grow from this experience? So where am I? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I was taking my time there because I thought that there might be some cards stuck together. Eleven cards, so that means the final card. The victim in the reverse position. We're not victims of our circumstance and this is how we can how we can choose to look at the situation because we probably feel like we're victims of this situation <clears throat> on a collective energy consciousness type tip that's the way i'm thinking about this so we need to stop feeling like victims of the situation and become empowered and whatever that means to you is the right answer so that's my little reading that i've done of the current situation that we're in i hope that was of interest to you